It's the heart, the heart of Ohio. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Do you like shopping? Do you specifically like shopping for vintage and antiques? Then you definitely at the right channel. We're gonna get inside, see what we can't find for collecting and reselling. I have to say, as a full-time reseller, today's shopping experience is a lot more leisure. While I do have two upcoming sales coming, thankfully I have all of the merchandise. So this is just gonna be us taking our time, seeing what we can see, and maybe we will buy some things for collecting <laughs> or reselling. Let's just get inside and let's do it. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget, down below in the description of the video, you're gonna find two links. One is for my eBay store, cause I am back on eBay. And of course, the other is for the virtual antique marketplace, VAMP for short. Misty and I, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, are really excited to announce a new shopping experience that you can access 24 seven. Sign up for free, check it out below. We'd appreciate it. Let's get inside. Let's just do this. Let's own it. Let's own it. Your total view, you've got three wings. You've got three, you've got six, and you've got one. And they all offshoot one another. So each of them has additional wings to go down. Uh, if you're gonna be here, I'd definitely recommend planning on being here for at least three hours, if not more, if you're just here for a casual shopping experience. One of my favorite vendors here at Heart of Ohio is this particular booth. I know she has checked out the channel and I just want to say this even before checking out the channel. Um, this has always been one of my favorite booths. There's a lot of quick turnover. So she's constantly adding items and the prices are both collector and reseller friendly. So I greatly appreciate that. And this is one of the places that I always stop whenever I am in here, whether I'm filming or not. Now, some things that are new to me are the Ellie Smith canister sets here. We have a medium and a semi canister here. These are in the amber. I like these, but the amber are a little bit tougher sell, though I will say this with the fall months coming up, these are going to be a great addition to your fall decor. You can also transfer over into the avocado here. Now we have a four piece set. This one is at 72. They look to be in really good condition. Again, these are gonna be great for fall decor and you can carry these in through Christmas. Maybe you wanna tie like a little uh, candy cane striped, a red and white candy cane striped bow around those. Keep it simple, but it's perfect for Christmas or for year round if you love your earth tones. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we're just so inspired by. Um, do love the table lamp. Ooh, look at this chalkware bunny. Look at those ears on him. Adorable, I love the chalkware. 17, not bad, smash bank. So, you know, you'd have to smash them to get them open. Um, ooh, look at this mixing bowl set. This would be great, again, talking about the fall some pyrex here 89 for the three-piece set i love those colors okay anything else no i don't what is this a wood paint by never you can make your own christmas tree topper here three-dimensional tree topper or centerpiece let's keep it tacky 21 not bad Mm-hmm. And we'll move over into here. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. We got people rolling up on us, not excusing themselves, but that's cool. Uh, $12 for the larger cupies. Just found some smaller ones. Old King Cole stationery. Empty box. Empty box. Hmm, don't know. I'm going to have to think about, oh, and I missed these. This is a fun set. Let's see here. 24, a reproduction, but so cute. You know what? I'm not mad at you, especially at 24, because you could use these, get that vintage atomic look without worrying about ruining good vintage glasses. Okay, but true tea time, and I want your honest opinion. So... 
let's i'm gonna paint you a scenario this is the booth that you're in and there is somebody standing right here where the swan is and they're coming this way you then proceed to decide that you're going to enter in and stand right here like are you and this is where the truth comes in okay but so then truthfully then are you the person that waits because obviously it's not a huge booth or are you the person that's like, yeah, there's enough room. I'm going to go in there anyhow. You have to be honest. Let me know down in, in the description. There's no judging. There's no judging by anybody else. Everybody has their own perspective of things and I'm open to a different perspective. So let me know because I'm like, no, you don't like, hello, wait your turn. Or is it like a, no, it's fair game let me know I don't think that i didn't miss this this beautiful white iridescent stretch it's like a little cornucopia could be a candlestick i'm digging it and it's only 12.50 so i am gonna go ahead and pick that up and then over here on the little shelf was this exceptionally sharp <laughs> exceptionally sharp flower frog and at 6.50 i'm gonna pick this one up yeah i am let's see what else you have there's this table runner. I really like this. I'm not... The blue and white tassels kind of throw me off, if I'm to be honest. But I love... I love this. Oh, this is beautiful. It's $10. Small runner. Okay, for $10, I'm going to get it this time. Okay, let's see, what else do you have over here? They still have some Florence ceramics. The ladies here. Um, scrolling down. This looks, looks like it's almost Westmoreland. Is this Westmoreland or is this Fenton? Could be Fenton. Oh, it is Fenton. That one is at 60. Mm. Carefully. What else do you got? Over here. Mm. Not so much. Oh, look at all the stoppers here. Richard has a growing collection of these. Look at this one's unusual. What does he do? Oh, oh my gosh, he's reading. What does that say? I relate. He's at 35. The prices aren't that bad. Oh, there's another reading one. What is this? Look at this guy. He's on the keg. Where's his lever? Let's see, what does he do? Mm. It's okay. Oh, there's another one right there on the keg I didn't see. They look happy together. <laughs> look at the chef. I'm mixing the porridge. chef. Cute. Oh, look at that bird cage with a plant stand too. And there are inserts down there for your plants. That one's at 225. What a great shape that would be on a sun porch. I think that's really pretty. They got some nice wrought iron in here. Anything on the front? No. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Oh, look at that peg doll. She looks to be an older one too. You gotta watch out because there's a lot of those reproduction ones. But look at the sculptural detail, like the eyebrows and the hair. It's leading me to believe that she is a nicer one, especially the shape of the body. Like she was crafted uh, to be a little bit higher end. Oh yeah, there is some paint missing, but I'm not mad at it. I think it adds to her aesthetic value. She's at 45. I do not have a peg doll. And I've got the perfect shelf for her. So we're going to go ahead and snatch her up. I'm really excited about that one. That'll be a welcome addition. Now the only thing, because we are here on a Monday afternoon, is finding your person with the keys. Each of the wings has a person with keys. <sighs> they all wear black. I don't see my person with keys here. 
Um, they might be helping somebody else or have taken something else up to the front. Um, I guess we can go in this booth real quick. I typically don't come in this booth too often just because the prices are... They're pricey. It's expensive in here, bottom line. Um, no shade. is just expensive. Um, I don't know. We can still look at some beautiful things. I said today was more of a leisure shopping experience. Oh, look at that pottery flower frog. So it looks like it's missing an insert right in here. That's a Weller frog base. Yeah, it is at 20. I'm not mad at you. I don't think I have a frog that would fit. Oh, look at the hand turned. I love the shape on that. It's simple, and that's why I love it. Great for your mid-century decor, of course. Um, we'll set you right here. Price is on the lid. 47. Ah, calm down. I'm going to stick that one back up here. Ugh. I know y'all want to see the bittersweet. We'll look at the bittersweet. Um, it's pretty to see them all grouped together, but like I said, you know, at 225, I just, 160, the largest is at 300. I love this pottery dog here though. Um, I'm not seeing any shapes or colors that are so, this one's interesting here in the back, this one here, that one's a two something, can't read it. Oh, keys. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely take her. Oh, she's amazing. Love it. Um, what were we doing? The bittersweet sneaking in. The other one that I saw that I kind of liked was this one right here in the back. Why do I keep looking at the ones in the back? Oh, it's a pedestal, but I still like that shape. Let's see. Can we see? That one's at 255. So, pretty to see. Look at that perfume bottle. It's something Rhine. It's famous Rhine lavender. I got it. Made in Germany. It looks like it's a green uranium glass with that paper label die cut. That's really, oh my gosh, it's got quite an elegant look to it. Looks like there might be some perfume. It is $39. What do you think? Should we take a risk? Should we? I'm going to take a risk, but while we wait for keys again, because of course I had to send her a longer way. Jeez, Michael, being rude to yourself. Um, let's look over here. Some Fenton, the Rosaline, Rosaline. <laughs> Words. That one's at 125 for the fairy lamp. It is pretty. Um, anything, 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 anything else? Some more Rosaline. 150 for the bunny. Go ahead. Um, you guys are probably seeing stuff and you're screaming at me to get it and buy it. Uh, I just don't know about this perfume bottle. I mean, it's stunning, but at 40, I just don't know. I, uh, uh. Okay, so we're not going to get the perfume bottle because there's quite a few listings on eBay. Um, and they're like $20, and honestly, they're in better condition. So um, we're going to hold off from getting that important to run your comp so you don't overspend. Um, I do see that miniature grandfather clock at 249 that is so epic, but I'm not going to spend the two hundred. No, I'm not going to do it. We're not doing it. No. Door six complete. We're going to head down to three and seven. I think there's another offshoot over here, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but we're going to hit them up, see what we can't find. Tell you what, the cafe is cooking and it smells good right now. Can't deny trying to make me hungry. I see how you are. I see how you are. Um, all right, well, let's check it. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Um, 
not seeing anything here for us. That's beautiful though. Here we've got some amazing salt and pepper shakers. And I'm just going to say this before we get too up and close and personal. These are definitely priced at retail. Um, so I am not holding my breath, but I still wanted to check them out. The first one that I see is look at this little dust mop. She's a single PY. I thought so. The eyes on that one are a little questionable. Maybe it's because it's so small. The PY eyes tend to be much more crisp than what I'm seeing there, but she's absolutely adorable. But it's $85. The fish head. Oh, God, they are fish head. Ugh. 58 for the pair on those. Um, these are cute, but meh. Look at the frog. He's serving up the tomatoes. 48 for those. We've got a lot more anthropomorphic cuties here. The ones that I'm really digging are the lettuce and the tomato over here. That set is at 38. Those two are darling. And we do have Tasty Freeze TF there. So super cute. Um... Oh, there's another set of those, like the melon kind. I mean, those two, I mean, it's not, oh, 38. I was thinking 28. Oh, gosh darn it. Some more over here. We've got little plums. They have a it's tomato. 38 for that set also. What is she? She's like a, a nut, a coconut, an acorn with a black leaf. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, big eyed plums, 1850. I don't know. I've never seen a brown plum, but who knows? Pretty. This one here. It's a little, like a little flower frog. That one's at $8. Oh gosh, I think that is so elegant. Oh my gosh, she is definitely delicate. It is a modern classics Versailles. I mean, I don't know that it's the most tremendous value, but I think that is so, pr I'm gonna add that to the basket. I really like that. Oh, this would be good if you had like a potpourri or something in there to kind of fragrance without it having to be seen, I guess, or disguised a little bit. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. You definitely couldn't use it as a flower frog, though. Obviously, I said that, but wrong, wrong. Ooh, look at this silver plate butter dish. That's kind of like very cult of vintage, like, isn't it? It's an interesting pattern. They have that one at 22. Can I set that right here? Let's check it. That's just, it's odd. What do we got? Floral detailing. It is... Oof, Lord. Albany, New York. Kirkland? Yep, Kirkland and Company. Triple plate? Yeah, triple plate Kirkland. I like the subject matter on it. No, Michael, stop. You don't need a round butter dish. Stop it. I love this music box. Look at the dolphins are even moving. You've got like one, two, ooh, it's getting caught. Three different movements on that. I had this once before and the, I got it at a thrift store and I didn't know the turtle's head was broken. And then of course I broke it. This is coming with its original box. It's at $15. It is a made in China item. I'm not mad at it because I think it's really stinking cute. And it obviously, oh my gosh, except for this stupid tag. Let's see if we, there we go. I don't know y'all, what do you think? It's $15. Hmm. As much as I love it, you can actually get them on eBay for $15. So there's zero competition there for me. So I'm going to have to leave them behind. Now, you didn't see, look at these two weirdo chimney sweep back here. He's cute, but I'm not sure how I feel about the subject matter. I do love the face. I will say that. That said, look at the little witch here. Oh my gosh. 
stop it. She's a door. How sweet is she? Let's see. It's got, it's, she's, whoa, 15, little Miss Bean bag filled. The gnarly good witch brings good luck to a household, collects dust and grant, girl, do you collect dust? Collects dust and grants three wishes monthly, not to be confused with the average, oh, she's not average, the average kitchen witch, which merely hangs about the kitchen. Shady, go ahead. She said, I'm not being shady. I'm just telling you the truth. Who are you made by, lady? Oh, quite literally, the Gnarlies, 1988 by Sandy Dale. Hmm, let's see if I can find anything on this. Shoot at 43 to 75. I'm going to get this, sweetheart, for 15. Three wishes. Three wishes, y'all. Let's do it. Now, I have pulled some items out of this booth before. Ooh, look at you, gorgeous. Bronze vases on marble. You're at 300 drats. Look at that beautiful Art Nouveau. Ooh, great sculptural detail on that. One three for each one. So, a quack or two from me to you. What's going... What is that? Questionable. Woo! Hmm. But it's 20, so... Yeah. Little folk storybook loving... Ooh, look at that, Michalica. It's like... Oh, it's a, um... Is it a chrysanthemum? Or is it a mum? Junior. Pretty, pretty. Oh, look at that frog. You see her? Interesting. She's at 90. That's cute. Very whimsical. But it's sophisticated at the same time. Uh, some Lennox. I will say, while, they're, blah, 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 <laughs> while the Lennox may be common, there are still some beautiful pieces out there to be had. Um... No, oh, I don't see anything for us, so let's keep it moving. Look at this string. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. She's at 46. Look at that side eye. She said, I'm sick of the string coming out of my mouth. You know, more standard. I mean, come on. Is there a comparison? She is far more adorable. Let's talk about pink depression glass here for a second, shall we? You know, again, while this might be considered something that is common, I think you see it in just about every antique mall. It can, I would say, most readily be available out of all of the depression wear at thrift stores, flea markets. That's exactly why I recommend checking it out. There's a vast array of patterns, some with, some without. Here you've got more of an optic pattern here with that ridge. Um, and it's a great practical thing to use. While it is glass, it was made to be a bit more durable, even then more so than some of our contemporary stuff. So if you're just starting out, or if you want to add, I think, a bit of kind of some spring pastels, some nice colors without being like too over the top, check out Pink Depression Wear. Um, especially if you have white dishes, yellow, and uh, like a light blue, this is going to go in beautifully with that. So... You know, yeah, it's pink depression wear, but gosh darn it, why not use it then? Use that vintage, use those antiques. Um, yeah. Well, at least we got to talk about pink depression glass. <laughs> this is really cute. I've seen these a good number of times, but they're always in red. The blue is quite cute. I love that blue and white. That's not a whole lot of flower. It's 25. Let's see if I can find something else about the blue in particular. Fire King can be had for $25 online. So again, just a reminder, look that stuff up, right? Always, oh, oh little Chuck. Oh, you sweetheart. Look at this one over here. He looks like a little bit of a newer one. He looks a little older. The paint wasn't as heavy on the older ones as it is on the newer ones. That's how you can kind of tell. Now we can peek inside his little digits there. He does have the straw. So that does indicate him to be a little bit earlier. So we'll see. 
We spot anything else? I don't know that we do. Let's see. Look at her and her little cape. What? Ava Hart Gobel doll. Oh, I wouldn't have thought that was a gobel. The gobels have a tendency to be a little bit more detailed, at least from the ones that I've seen. But she is cute in that cape. Look out that massive bunny. He's forty nine ninety five. Oh, and he's got the red eyes. Oh, these plush bunnies. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. These things go crazy high anymore. The bunny market is insane. I love how massive those ears are. I feel like I could, quite frankly, whoa, don't do that. I feel like I could fix this. It's got a fiber fill. And by fix it, I mean like clean it and make it bright and pink and lovable and huggable. But 50s spendy. Hmm. I need some. We need some fiber fill. I don't want to open it if it's straw um, because it would be an antique. I don't know, y'all. Even if it were, would it be worth it? I need you to know like, if I were to get this, pop the seams, clean it, would that bother you? Like, would you still value it? Or would you consider that to be, like, ruined? I'm not going to take it personal if you would say it would be ruined. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Dang it. Bunny. Ah, and I do see that dream pet down there. It's a plush purple kitten at $9.99. Yeah, we're going to get the purple cat. Oh, my gosh. I can't control myself when it comes to these old creepy toys. It is a composition doll here on a rag doll body. The doll body is articulated. Now, I don't know that this was manufactured or if it was hand done. I have a stronger feeling that it was hand done. So it's kind of like a mommy made hobbyist piece. And um, it's done very well. I would say that. I don't feel a plate on the dolls nope I don't oh it's only $17.50 and that pink and blue with the buttons it's a look the head's a little out of scale but that's why I love it it's got fingers fingers I tell ya in the basket okay so I was kind of looking in here honestly these very quirky puzzles caught my eye and then as I looked down I saw this book and it's a Robinson Crusoe this is a McLaughlin Brothers pantomime book um, it's priced at $45 which is quite frankly insane for that I can't believe I'm actually seeing one of these in real life and it does look like it's an OG kind of wonder the condition at $45 that would be such a tremendous deal um hmm i think we may need to get the key out on that all right let's check the condition a little loose oh the pages are actually quite loose and you just turn these and the stage you can see the people in the opera boxes so it's like you're watching the play. Oh, the pages are all loose on this side. <sighs> you know, while I'm very excited to have seen the book, well, let's see here. Yeah, there's just unfortunately no repairing that because it's ripped here at the seam. So to glue it in, you wouldn't be able to... Re uh, oh, well. Um... I'm gonna have to pass on it. Stife, Jocko alert. Now he's in a gray or kind of like a taupe. He's 65. Okay, so he's not actually an earlier one. He's good in vintage, um, but not an antique. He's fiber filled, so 65. He's still no hair. He's still really cute. That's not a horrible price for a vintage Stife, but I don't prefer the antique ones so we're gonna keep him here don't think that i am seeing anything else 
a little bit more of like the primitive primitive kind of vibes to it excellent display over here i will say that of course all of the glass caught my attention you know i do see some pretties up in here i just sold this that white iridescent there they have 98 on that jeez um some pretty stuff definitely a little spendy oh it's a rosaline kind of day look at that burn. however so we're gonna admire it and we're gonna keep it behind the glass maybe for the right collector maybe for the right collector anything over here you know a really fun display and setup this Rushton skunk has been here for over three years at 195. So interesting. Do you see that massive glass owl? Oh my gosh. Oh, he huge. They got priced at 195. This is so cool. I mean, I've seen these obviously much smaller. 195. Never, never to this size. Look at that thing. Ooh, that is some real mid-century realness right there. Holy cannoli. Oof. I feel like, frankly, I feel like that's a deal. I do. I'm wondering if it's such a deal that I don't. But it's 195. Ay Hmm. Man, that would be a lot of paper to ship that. <laughs> oh, it's so incredible though. All right, y'all, just a quick basket shot, plus, of course, all of the stuff that we have up front, like the giant pink bunny, the purple cat, and there's something else that I can't remember, but we're going to do the final wrap-up outside. I'll see you there. Alrighty there. Well, there you have today's shop with me video. I hope that you did have a good time. Uh, I think we got some really interesting things to say the very least. You know, why not a giant pink plush bunny? Sure. Let's go for it. A Portuguese ceramic rooster. Why not? Let's just keep it weird. As always, you guys down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works. And you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.